Courage comes in all forms, like that of Tiffin native and mother of three, Jennifer Nieskern, who battled cancer for nearly a decade, ultimately losing that battle and passing away just two weeks ago. And then there's the courage of one of her sons, Decker. He not only dressed for the Tiffin Columbian basketball team a day after his mother's passing, but he played, and he scored one for mom. Our Adam Solomon has a story. They say basketball is just a game. But on February 10, 2012, when Decker Niskern suited up for Tiffin Columbian's high school game against Willard, it was much more than that. It was normal. Basketball is a huge part of my life. It always has been. And like I said, it was an outlet. I mean, coming out on the court, nothing else really matters. And I guess it's just a way to kind of escape everything that's going on. The day before that game, Decker's mom, Jennifer Niskern, passed away at the age of 48 after a nine-year battle with kidney cancer. She has the love of many people, and just how she loved a lot of people throughout her lifetime. She's definitely part of my family, I felt like, and when she's gone, you know, I felt like someone in my family died too, and she was always at every game and everything. Uh, she was a huge supporter of all the kids, and just a huge loss. She was like my second mom. His house was like my second house. After basketball games, football games, I'd go over there, so she meant a lot to me. With the crowd all wearing purple and an unbelievable amount of courage, Decker decided to play. What would she want me to do? I mean, she loved basketball, she loved watching it, so I figured go out and play for her. He's shown superior strength and courage to be able to continue to come to practice every day, continue to play in games every time we've had them scheduled. Uh, it's been very impressive to, to witness. He's tough, his whole family's tough. I mean, she was huge to them. It was just moments into the game when Decker scored the opening bucket. It was definitely like going from a little bit of sadness and all that and then excitement because she always asked me to score the points or the first points of the game. So I was pretty excited when I got to. So I was just thinking, what can I do to let my mom know that that was for her? So I figured pointing to the sky, I mean, pointing to the heavens. After scoring the first points of the game, Decker knew that his mom wouldn't be satisfied quite yet. I could always hear her yelling, that's for sure. I mean, if I'm not having a good game or shots aren't falling, I can always, I could always hear her yelling, keep shooting and all that. I remember she would always yell at Decker to shoot the ball. Like, if Decker wouldn't shoot it, she would yell, shoot it. And then after the game, she would tell Decker she, he needs to shoot more. His mom's love and passion for the game made basketball an outlet for Decker and gave him memories with her he'll keep forever. Every day that I would come home from school or from practice, I mean, she never showed any of it. You could tell that she was going through a tough time, but she didn't want anybody else to know that. I mean, it was kind of her deal that she wanted to deal with by herself, and she didn't want to affect our childhood or anything because of her illness. So I think that's what made it so special. Coach Beeson and Coach Weber, they said, if I need anything, just let them know. Teammates, I mean, they've just been like an extended family, and they've really helped me. I mean, kind of deal with it, get, get through the tough times, and I love them all. I mean, I wouldn't be here without them. From Tiffin, I'm Adam Solomon, WNWO Sports.